Well, today is Diabetes Alert Day. It's a one-day wake-up call that focuses on the seriousness of the condition. Now, here's why this day matters. Diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in Indiana. Roughly one in ten adults in Indiana is living with diabetes, and almost one in four adults living with diabetes doesn't know they have it. News 10's Lacey Clifton joins us now. New at 6, she has the story of one woman who found out she is the one in four. Yes, local woman Brenda Vorick didn't have diabetes in her family, so if she thought she was in the clear, but unfortunately the condition does not discriminate. For your pancreas to stop working one day uh, when you're 24, and that's never been a problem before, that was something that I never expected would happen. It's been seven years since Brenda Vorek was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. The health condition took her by surprise and changed her life forever. Figuring out carbohydrates versus insulin, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole calculation in your head, really, um, of trying to figure out what I can eat, how much of it I can eat, and then what I have to take insulin wise to fix what I ate. Vorek sees diabetics struggling to maintain their blood sugar all too often. That's because Vorek is a paramedic. It's one of our most frequent calls is a diabetic emergency um, because so many things can happen if you're too low or if you're too high. Vorek says each diabetic is like a thumbprint. No two are alike. Therefore, blood sugar management is unique to each person. However, she says by using her personal experience, she can help put struggling patients at ease. For that patient to not understand why they're feeling the way they're feeling, it's hard. And you know, so um, I feel like I relate to them and I, I can talk them through it and let them know like, you know, I have this insulin pump in my pocket. I'm the same as you. Let me fix you. Let me help you. Vorek credits a large part of successfully managing her blood sugar levels to finding a good endocrinologist and getting an insulin pump. We've linked more resources for diabetics at WTHITV.com. Back to you.